Hi everyone, it's Phil from Ashton Leather and I'm back again with some more custom creations that our customers have specced out. We're gonna start off here with a really dramatic look on Shell Cordovan. This is a look called Psychedelic Shell Cordovan. We haven't seen a whole ton of this finish from Horween, but I like it so much, I'm gonna have to give Skip Horween a call and order some more of this. You can see some of the color range in here. It ranges from a little bit more of the green shades, darker greens, a little bit more violet and purple. And then in some sections, it's a little bit more tan. Now this wallet here is a variation on our Fat Herbie. It's called a Trap. Traveler passport holder where we have one larger compartment on the interior right. Psychedelic Shell Cordovan is one of the special finishes that Horween does on the Shell Cordovan. Here's another one. This is Marble Shell Cordovan. And I believe the inside of this wallet is marbled blue Shell Cordovan. We've got a combination of our traditional card holders on the inside right and vertical card holders on the left, a great Horween ink stamp in the center. And this is a little bit wider between the card holders because this is a Tony the Ant where we have a bill slot on the outside and this appears to be Whiskey Shell Cordovan. Now here's another great finish that Horween does with extreme variation. We call this the Epic Reverse Shell Cordovan. And the color here, that greenish shade, this is the reverse side of black shell cordovan with epic die splatter. Not all of the reverse shell cordovan pieces have this amount of splatter. This is actually a pretty dramatic amount. And what we mean by reverse shell cordovan is exactly that we flip it backwards. So if you look inside the bill slot, you see the shell side inside of here. The reverse side is that greenish shade with all the epic die splatter. Let's look at the interior of this one. We have marbled shell cordovan cordovan on the right. Now this is marbled black shell cordovan, a little bit more green and orange colors in the marbled black. And on the left, we have more epic splatter reverse black shell cordovan. Here's another one with some variation. This is called tumbled shell cordovan. On the outside of this Capone money clip, we have tumbled ver degree. It's a little bit more of a pale green shade. And what I like about the tumbled shell cordovan is a couple things. It tends to open up that shell, which allows a little bit more dramatic patina to develop and accumulate. Also introduces little bits of random texture that you can see on the center of this pattern piece. We have the tumbled ver degree on the outside of this capone sitting on some black shell cordovan. And on the inside of this capone money clip, we have more tumbled shell cordovan, a little bit of a darker color here with a gold color spring bar money clip. And here's another fun twist. This is a Bugs Moran in tumbled marble shell cordovan. The tannery has combined some of those finishing ideas together in this piece. And they start off by marbling the shell cordovan just like this piece here, and then eventually tumble it after the marbling. And the result is this here. We get those sort of layered textures on top of each other with all the random color range. And let's look at the inside of this Bugs Moran where we have more tumbled marble shell cordovan. Very beautiful looking leather here. This is our traditional card layout for our Bugs Moran. There are two card slots on each side and the larger two card slots underneath will fit US dollars folded in half. So this is a perfect minimalist style wallet without a bill slot that will fit in your front pocket. And here's yet another way to combine looks together. This is my favorite texture, the Western texture that Horween leather company does. They've taken this Western texture and debossed it onto some marbled black shell cordovan. Personally, I think the layered concept here with different textures and different color finishes looks really, really beautiful, especially on the Western texture, uh, my favorite texture here. We've got this sitting on some, looks like Western green shell cordovan on the spine part of the wallet. We have contrasting cream color stitching. And on the inside, we have more marbled black shell cordovan with the Western texture on the right. And we've got some reverse black shell cordovan on the left. Now, this is a good Good option for a lot of people. I prefer having at least one interior card slot on the insides of wallets to be the reverse shell because it tends to scuff and scratch the other side just a little bit less. I find it to be more easily filled in. I wanted to mention if you want a custom wallet from us, just send over your dream wallet to info at ashlandleather.com. My brother Matt will help you out there and he can give you a quote, let you know what leathers we have available. The best way to start would be just to send him what your dream is. So this wallet here, this is our traveler passport holder. It's a little bit taller than our normal fat Herbie. On the exterior, we have the bill slot and this is made in raw natural shell cordovan. I find the raw natural shell cordovan to be the best choice for people wanting the most dramatic patina possible. You can see it starts off with a nice subtle sheen, but it is nowhere near as bright and shiny as normal shell cordovan. In addition to that, it's also very light in color. So you have a lot of room to grow for that patina to become a little bit more dark, a little bit more golden brown. The contrasting teal color stitching along the outside of the wall, it hints at the teal latigo on the interior. We also have a hidden card slot on the right. This hidden card slot is an add-on that you can choose. It's not stitched down, so it's a larger open compartment here. We can choose to do one just like on this wallet, but you can also put one on each side. And let's slide in some more stuff. I really like some of the color combinations that people have been choosing. This one here is the new Royal Blue Cypress. Really beautiful 
bright, vibrant blue shade that Horween is doing on their Latigo tannage. And the difference between the Latigo and the Cypress is the Cypress has a hard wax that has been finished onto the grain. It gives you a lot of resilience, but also gives you a very nice depth of color. So you can see as I flex the leather, we reveal a little bit of those lighter undertones and that can sort of be melted back into place. And that hard wax finish on the Cypress makes the leather a little bit more resilient. Any scuffs and scratches tend to just blend in very easily. On the inside of this Tony the Ant, we have something special. Normally we don't do the vertical card slots on the inside of this wallet. On this one we have it. So there's two vertical card slots on the left, two vertical card slots on the right, and then each of those stacks have a hidden card slot underneath. Now these are made in English tan Dublin, which I think pairs very, very well with the Royal Blue Cypress on the outside. Here's another Another special one in the last custom order video we saw some of this leather now this is the 1940s calfskin on the interior right of this Bugs Moran you'll also notice we have the two different card orientations on this wallet our traditional card slots on the left with the vertical card slots on the right on the left side this is actually natural shell cordovan and you can see the color is roughly similar to that blonde 1940s calfskin on the right. We do have a little bit of that 1940s calfskin left, so if you're interested in picking up a wallet in that, definitely let me know. On the outside of this Bugs Marin, we have some more natural shell cordovan. And here's another great color combination that uh, really strikes me. On the outside of this Johnny the Fox, our traditional bifold, this is black Dublin. And we've got the contrasting blue color stitching along the outside which looks great because it's hinting at the royal blue cypress on the interior. I love this combination of black and that darker blue. We also do a very popular wallet with black Dublin on the outside and teal Latigo on the inside. It seems like the color combinations have become very popular with a lot of people recently. Here's a little bit more of a traditional color on the Giant of the Fox. Now, it is a rare shell cordovan color here. This is cigar shell cordovan. If you're not familiar with the Cigar Shell Cordovan, it's a little bit more of a straight up brown when you compare it to something like Color 8. The Color 8 has a little bit more cherry, a little bit more burgundy hints, and the undertones especially. Whereas in the Cigar, you can see it's just a little bit more of a true brown. Now let's look at the interior of this wall. This is where it's really special. Very difficult for us to get Rare Shell Cordovan colors to be thin enough for the inside of the Giant of the Fox. And that's exactly what we have here. So the color of Shell Cordovan is special enough, but we also have a very nice matching hand-stained edge along the outside of this Giant of the Fox. Up next is another Traveler Passport holder. This time it is in Whiskey Shell Cordovan on top of Denim Blue Shell Cordovan. We have a matching blue stitching along the top, but that blue stitching turns into a little bit of a contrast along the bottom of the Whiskey Shell Cordovan. Now this Traveler Passport holder is a little bit taller than our normal Fat Herbie design, and I'll try to demonstrate that for you. You can see the Traveler underneath is just slightly taller than our normal Fat Herbie, and we did that to more easily accommodate a passport on the inside. So you can see underneath here, you should be able to fit a passport. Now the person that has specced out this wallet picked some really great stuff. We've got gold foil stamps for the logos on the bottom. We also have the Baby Ashland stamp on the right, those hidden cards slots underneath and these are made in raw denim shell cordovan we also have that contrasting blue color stitching going along the outside as well as on the inside and let's take a look at that fat herbie we just peeked at we got blue shell cordovan on top of whiskey shell cordovan for the outside very nice pieces of shell on all the wallets here but this fat herbie looks very very nice what you want to see in shell cordovan is a deep shine very bright shiny luster it should be almost mirror like so you can see as i tilt it around it should be reflecting just about everything in the room this is exactly what you want to see from shell cordovan it also should have a nice round feel to it it should have a firm temper but soft at the same time it's sort of difficult to describe but when you feel this in person you know exactly what i'm talking about and it also should feel very flat and smooth you shouldn't feel any friction as you rub your finger across the leather the other thing that is very unique about shell cordovan flex the leather like this you should never see any creasing or delamination on the leather it should always stay flat and smooth just like this forever let's look at the inside of this fat herbie where we have some marbled cigar shell cordovan with a contrasting cream color stitching and the Horween Shell Cordovan ink stamp in the center. Up next is a very special wallet. We used to keep these in stock all the time. This is a natural Chrome Excel Fat Herbie. This is the most popular Chrome Excel color, and I think you find this in a lot of footwear. So I actually personally have a few different pairs of boots made out of the natural Chrome Excel. I love it. I find it to be very, very beautiful. You can see we've got a nice pull-up effect on the Chrome Excel, and it has a rich, waxy, and oily feel. Those are the signifiers 
of the Chrome XL leather. Let's look again at the inside. Here's something very special. This is the Horween measuring machine stamp. The tannery stamps their brand and USA into every side that they ship out. Alongside their branding here, there's also a measurement that's sort of obstructed underneath the card holders on the left. That tells you the area of the skin that was measured because they sell everything by the square foot. And speaking of nice shell, I, I did notice these earlier when I was putting these on the table. This is a beautiful piece of color number eight shell Corvin. At least that's what I believe this is. We've got a contrasting cream color stitching on this wallet. Super bright and shiny, very, very smooth piece of shell. It's very nice. And on the inside of this one, we have more of that incredible shell Cordovan with contrasting stitching. This wallet has been specced out. It's sort of similar to what we normally do on our Color 8 shell Cordovan wallets. The only difference here is the cream color stitching. I did want to point out that we do hand stain all of our black and Color 8 shell Cordovan wallets that are standard on our site. And they look just like this. It's very, very clean looking because we're matching the same exact color stain that Horween is using for the shell side. We're putting that same stain on the edges applying a little bit of wax and then doing a lot of handwork to burnish that in. Up next is a similar wallet. We've got a Color 8 Shell Cordovan Tony the Ant with cream color stitching on the outside. We have the hand stained edge. The difference here is we have a beautiful reverse interior and I'm actually not sure what color this leather is on the inside. It almost looks like a reverse cigar would be my guess. And looking at the outside again, maybe this is Cigar Shell Cordovan and we'd be able to tell if it's cigar versus Color 8 by seeing less of that burgundy red. I believe this is Cigar Shell Cordovan on the outside with a reverse interior. Great looking Tony the Ant here. And we have several more wallets to look at. Let's take a look at a more 1940s calfskin. And this is made on our Bugs Moran. I love the Bugs Moran for the size. It's perfectly held in your hand. It's about the size of a deck of cards. And the 1940s calfskin here is that beautiful blonde shade. It will develop to be a little bit darker, a little bit more golden, and it should change in luster. It should become a little bit more bright and shiny. On the inside of this one, we have our vertical card slots, also in the 1940s calfskin. I think the 1940s calf is perfect for a design like this. The leather is a little bit thinner than most everything else we use. So a design like the Johnny the Fox or the vertical Bugs Moran here, it's perfect for this because we need thinner pieces of leather for these two designs. Up next is another Capone money clip, this time in black shell Cordovan with a gator texture. I really like this texture on the black shells. We also have a natural waxed and burnished edge that sort of frames out the look of the outside of this wallet. On the interior, we have raw natural shell Cordovan. We also have a gold spring bar money clip. Here's a fun one. This is a checkbook cover in natural shell Cordovan. I'll give you a look at that here. Here. It's a little bit smaller than our long wallet and a little bit taller than our fat Herbie. Of course, it's designed to fit checks, so it's about the size of a standard checkbook. On the inside here, we have that little flap to hold your checks, and then we have more natural shell Cordovan for these open compartments. Up next is a whiskey shell Cordovan fat Herbie, more of a rare shell Cordovan color. And when you compare the whiskey shell Cordovan to the natural, you will notice that the whiskey it's a little bit more golden, a little bit more yellow tones, and slight bit darker. Let's look at the edges of this one. We have a natural waxed and burnished edge. And on the inside, we have more whiskey shell Cordovan. It looks like the card slot dividers are a little bit more of like a reddish rust color thread. And here's another great looking wallet. I like how this one turned out very much. We have a tall Tony the Ant in black Dublin. And on the outside, the difference with the tall Tony the Ant is the exterior bill slot extends all the way to the top and there is no thumb notch. Customers have been requesting this version of the Tony the Ant to more fully conceal some taller paper notes like taller yen, taller pounds, and taller euros, they will be all concealed inside of this wallet. We have a contrasting cream color stitching along the outside of this black Dublin. Let me try to show you a little bit more of the character in the Dublin. This is a very nice piece of black Dublin with very nice figuring in the green. It's a little bit more subtle. On the inside of this tall Tony the Ant, you can see another advantage to the tall version of the Tony. That means that we can flip this interior piece around so we have Black Dublin all along the outside, as well as Black Dublin all along the inside. No stamping on this Tony the Ant as well. And the last wallet of the day is a total stunner. We've got a extra large piece of intense blue shell Cordovan. The long wallet is our largest pattern piece. It's pretty difficult for us to get large pieces of shell that can accommodate this design. Now let's take a look at the edges of this one where we have matching intense blue shell Cordovan edges. And flipping to the interior, we have more intense blue shell Cordovan, so all intense intense blue through and through on this wallet. The intense blue shell Cordovan is significantly darker than the denim blue shell Cordovan. It's a bit more subtle and oftentimes people mistake it for black in dim lighting scenarios. But as you can see here, it definitely has hints of blue all throughout, a little bit 
a little bit of a depth of color with a darker surface and a little bit more blue underneath. If you were to compare that to the denim, much more vibrant and blue and lighter on the denim blue shell Corvin. So thanks again for checking out everything in the video. Thanks so much to our customers that have specced out these wallets and allowed me to, to look at some crazy, awesome combinations. I'm gonna come back to this one. There's something special about this Tony the Ant cigar shell Cordovan with a reverse interior. I'm gonna make this my starter of the day. Something magical about the look on the interior. If you wanna pick out a custom wallet for yourself, you can message my brother, Matt. It's info at ashlandleather.com. Again, just let him know what you're looking for. The best way to introduce yourself to Matt for MTOs is just to send him a photo or maybe a timestamp in this video from a color you like or maybe a design you like. If you have something to reference that helps us get started, and then we can give you a quote in terms of time and cost for that. All right, thanks again for checking it out. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And until next time, hope you have a good one.